Find something new in your life. Get into DC Comics. And here to help you, it's Comic Book Man and Bo with some comic book news. We love comics, and we want you to love comics. <laughs> Episode 82, The Wussies of St. Clair. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... DC News number 82. 82! 82! And 82 is coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, raw new comics, including all my DC comics including all my first issue DC oh, comics in September, suckers. which we're going to get to in just a second, are always 15% off every day for every one. I don't know if you've heard or not, but DC, what, what but BC has this crazy-ass plan. What, what plan? <laughs> you know, you know they're, you know, they're coming to Chicago to talk to you and other retailers specifically about this really nice new plan. <laughs> Comrade, would you like two bullets or three with your gun <laughs> when you blow your brains out? DC's got this wonderful idea for at when Flashpoint ends, and Bo's going to get into this, but when Flashpoint ends with number five, they're going to reset the DC universe. Well, uh, Barry Allen is going to fix things. Everything's going to go back to the way it was, except for a couple of small changes. Small? A couple of small changes, among them, shit canning the entire line of DC Comics. No, no, and no. I swear to God, and starting them all over again with brand new first issues. Now, we're, we're not talking about, we're not talking about stuff like, nothing like a new Flash number one, or new Green Lantern number one. This is a new Action Comics number one, a new Detective Comics number one, Adventure Comics? Yeah, no. Adventure? Yeah. Adventure Comics number one. Everything that's DC Universe book, not kids books, not Vertigo books, no. and not, not any of gaming stuff that, no, that no. what's left of Wildstorm is still doing. But all of the DC Comics books, DC Universe books are going to be renumbered, starting with new number one, starting in September, and it'll be a brand new universe. And they're not just renumbering the books. The characters are going to be just a little bit different. Bo, tell us, how are they going to be different? You know, like, well, I think it was 79 or so we went through the first half of the 52. Here's the rest of them. Action Comics. Grant yes. Morrison and Rags Morales. Good team. Superman the Man of Tomorrow, written by George Perez, with art by Jesus Marino. Jesus. Supergirl. Jesus. Jesus Marino. Supergirl, from written by Michael Green and Mike Johnson. These are the guys who wrote the Green Lantern movie. And drawn by Mahmoud Azar. Superboy from Scott Lobdell, who's writing three books for the New DC Universe. Thank you, Bob Harris, for hiring you, buddy. <laughs> uh, drawn by R.B. Silva and Rob Lean. Blue Beetle, from uh, Tony Bedard and Iga Guada. Suicide. Well, I don't know. Some, there's a bunch of new people. Suicide. Suicide Squad from Adam Glass and Marco Ruby with a team composed of Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and King Shark. <laughs> Stormwatch, Paul Cornell, Miguel, Miguel Sepulveda featuring Jack Hawksmoor, Midnighter, Apollo, and of all people, the Martian Manhunter. Oh. They'll be hunting down heroes. Is he actually going to look like the Martian Manhunter? Yes, he's going to look exactly like the Martian Day, or is he going to have the collar? And he's gonna Everybody's have, got a collar. He's, I mean, he's, he's still wearing the swimsuit. Oh, well, Jim Lee likes collars. Okay, so everybody gets a collar except for the new Martian Manhunter who had a collar before he's and that stupid outfit. What does he need a collar for? Well, he remember the last time they had him yeah. before when they killed him. He yeah. wore that. He wore that crummy yeah, yeah, uniform. Anyway. You, got, you got Black Hawk from GI Joe's Mike Costa and Flash's Ken Lashley, a guy who hasn't worked since Flash one through six years ago. I'm glad Another friend of Bob Harris. Thank I'm you. I'm glad they're bringing Black Hawk back. Yeah. A Sergeant Rock and the Men of War from Ivan Brandon and Tom Derenick. It features the great grandson of Sergeant Rock in a modern day story. That would make sense. Uh, All-Star Western. I'm not crazy about it, but it makes right. sense. All-Star Western, Justin Gray, Jimmy Palmiotti, and Maura Tot, which involves basically a Justice League of the Wild West, and Jonah Hex will be involved in this book. Modern-day Western? Well, in the, it'll be it'll be I set mean, in the past. Oh, okay, so it's not going to be but cow stuff, cowboys on motorcycles. But but stuff that happens in All-Star Western will actually have effect on stuff that's going in the updated Justice League book, so everything's uh, okay. all connected. So. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, you've got Time, that, Timeline. That, yes, you've got Deathstroke from Kyle Higgins, Jill Bennett, and Art Thibbert. Grifter from Nathan Edmondson. They finally found a writer who said yes, uh, which will be drawn and drawn by Thunder Agents Kafu. Yes. Omak or Omak? Omak. Omak from Dan Dio, Keith Giffen, and Scott Kolbush. That book stinks of death already. Omak. Uh, Wait a minute. Who's doing, who's doing Omak? Dan Dio and yeah. Keith Giffen. Which, oh, that's it, dead. Which, well, yeah. Dead on our right. But he's a VP, so that means it'll never be published. DOA. Keith Giffen, it's hilarious. That's DOA on our right. Teen Titans from Scott Lobdell and Brent Booth telling, the tor telling a team of a story. Uh, the team's going to be composed of Red Robin. Wonder Girl, um, Kid Flash, and Superboy, who's wearing a black T-shirt with a logo. And he's got this big ass Superboy tattoo on his arm. He and he's still a clone. He's not made up by machine parts. He's still a clone. Looks like a clone. No, he's not a clone. Looks like a machine. That was just no. That's just the front cover of that issue. Okay. 
Legion Lost from uh, Fabian Niceza and Pete Woods telling the story of the Legion heroes Wildfire, Timberwolf, and Gates stuck in the present. You'll also have the Legion of Superheroes book from uh, Paul Levitz and Francis Portella. Yes, right, being the former VP means you get a book out of the 52 because they don't want to take him off. Well, Paul Levitz, the only thing he, I think he has any interest in doing is Legion of Superheroes. Hawk and Dove from Sterling Gates and of all people, Rob Liefeld. Yes, he's back doing Hawk and Dove. Whoopee. Static Shock from John Rosam and Scott McDaniel. You're going, but didn't you tell us a long time ago that that was going to be done by someone else? The person who worked on, uh, the female writer uh, who worked on Fringe and a couple other things. Didn't you? She got fired. Oh, well. I guess she's not working on it. She's not working on it. Voodoo from Ron Mars and Sammy Basra. That's why he dropped uh, Witchblade. He picked up a book over at DC. Justice League Dark from Peter Milligan and Michael Janine. Is that the magic one? That No, it's not the magic one. Oh, I thought it was a magic just, justice. Well, well, actually, John Constantine is a member of this team. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of so a little it, bit It's a magic weird. justice. It's kind of strange and unusual. It's weird. Demon Knights from Peter Milligan, Deanna G. Nevis, and Eau Claire Albert. This book is set in the Middle Ages, and it'll start a demon and other supernatural characters. So Peter Milligan's got the... Uh, you got the franchise on some weird stuff like that. Okay. Resurrection Man. You loved that book, didn't you? Actually, Resurrection Man was a good book. Resurrection when, when Man. When from, it was out, couple, uh, what, like eight years ago? Yeah. Well, Dan Abbott. was a good book. Dan, Dan Abbott and Andy Lanning are coming back to do the book with art from Fer, Fernando Daguin. They, they, as I remember it, as I remember it, we've got a ton of news here, so let me digress. Uh, <laughs> didn't they tie him in with Phantom Stranger? Uh, something Isn't, like is he like his yeah. brother or well, something? Or? He's a cub brother, cause and, every, and the, the point behind the character is every time he dies, he comes back to life with a yeah. brand new power. Right. And this is a book that people at DC thought was kind of cool, so they figured this is the perfect chance to bring him back. Well, why they cancel the first place? Because nobody was buying it. Okay. Yeah. So who's going to line up now? I don't know. <laughs> I Vampire from Joss Fidelkoff and Andrea Salentino. Will there be an I Zombie I Vampire crossover? No, it's Vertigo. Oh, okay. You can't do that. So we've broken can't, down the walls I hear between the two. Animal Man from Jeff Lemire and Travel Foreman. Frankenstein, Agent of Shade from oh, you love that and book. Alberto Ponticelli. Not Shield, that is my not Shield, Shade. Shade. <laughs> that is my candidate for the book, most likely to be canceled within six issues. Did you read the, you haven't read the Frankenstein for uh, Flashpoint, have you? No. I've it's pretty it. good. It's well, actually pretty good. Is it written by uh, Jeff Lemire? I'm not sure who wrote it. I'm not sure who wrote it, but it's, it's pretty good. It's a, it's, it's a very, it's the whole Monster Squad thing, uh, but I mean, it, it's, it's, it was well written. Well, this is the Frankenstein that uh, Grant Morrison did. That's the story of that thing. I will rain on you like a yes, thousand, like a thousand hammers. hammers. Yes, that's it. Uh, Swamp Thing from Scott Snyder and Yannick Paquette. Yeah. Uh, Bat Girl from Gail Simone, RDNCF, and Vince Sufuentes. Okay. Cat Omens from Judd Winnick and Gillam March. Birds okay. of Prayers from Dwayne Suzinski and Jesus Saiz. What happened to uh, Gail Simone? Gail Simone is doing Bat Girl, so therefore she can't do Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. Why not? Because they wanted to sign someone new over at DC that actually people had heard of, and so they went for Dwayne Szynski. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws from Jeff from Scott Lobdell. Yeah. That's his third book. Uh, and Kenneth Rocafort with Jason Todd, Arsenal, and Starfire fighting together, but yet they're not a team. Okay. So, uh, let's see what else we got. We got Batwing from Judd Winnick and Ben Oliver, starring the Batman from Africa. I've heard, yeah, I've heard about he's, that. He's one of the members in Batman Incorporated. Okay. Oh, it's, it, it's, I don't know. That, that's another book that I don't think is going to last for a while. It's, it's an African-American It's just weird. Uh, Batman it's, it's, be, they're trying to expand the brand. Well, yeah. America. I mean, there's, they're, they're really big on diversity in this yeah. whole thing. Okay. Well, they have been for a while now. But you got Batman from Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Yeah, that's right. Swan, Spawn guy. He's wandering over and doing Batman. Uh, Detective Comics will be written and drawn by Tony Daniel. Okay. Batman and Robin from Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason. The same guys are already working on the book, so they're not going anywhere. They're just sitting there. Batman, The Dark Knight, still from David Fish and Finch, and yes, even though Finch told Newsarama they weren't starting over, I guess someone called them on the phone and said, yes, you're starting over. Will issue three get out before the, issue, the issue new issue one three, comes out? Act, the first arc was the first arc will be on the stands, finished and completed, before the first issue shows. Because uh, Finch first is arc, a, three issues? <laughs> the first arc is going to be whatever they can get done. Uh, Finch, well, well, all this stuff is supposed to debut in September. Well, but Finch, this, the, We're doing this in June. Three hasn't shipped yet. The well, the, the, the How fine, long is this story arc? Well, the fine folks at DC went to David and went, uh, we need to get this thing finished before this new one starts, so you're not drawing the other two issues. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. They took it away from him. Okay, yeah, got uh, it. Jay Fabach is doing it. You've also got Nightwing okay. from Kyle Higgins and Eddie Barrows. Now, for those of you who are wondering about Batman Incorporated, yes. the current series will end with number 10. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And that'll be it. And then Batman Incorporated will come back again in 2012, and Grant Morrison and artist uh, Chris Burnham will basically do Batman and Leviathan, which is this big thing that Morrison's been playing for Batman since he took it over. And Morrison says once he's done with that, that's it for him as far as Batman's concerned. He's done all he could do with the character. Okay. The new status quo, by the way, of all this stuff is one Batman. Yeah, one Batman. Bruce Wayne. A lot of, you know, people were about 50-50 with two Batmans or one Batman. About half, about as many people bitched about being two Batmans as people bitched about, you know, why isn't there just one Batman? Mm -hmm. You know, why why, why can't we have two? Why can't we have one? Back and forth, I hate two. I, you know, I hate just having one. And DC is coming down, I think, with just one Batman for one reason and one reason only. Okay. Nightwing is floating around out there and nobody's doing anything with it. After the Nightwing series, the original one was canceled, they shuffled him back over into the House of L yeah. and you had a Kryptonian Nightwing yeah. for like three years who was basically a placeholder for the name. And now that that's over with, you've got the Nightwing franchise floating around some more, so... And, yeah. so and Dick the, Grayson slap him back in the, the costume. In the Nightwing book, Dick Grayson will be wearing the costume again and he will no longer, he'll be based in Gotham City. Yeah. No Blundhaven, huh? No Blundhaven. Yeah. No blood. The first arc has something to do with him uh, basically taking over the running of the circus that his family owned. Now, the big bitch I've heard about this, these reboots creatively is the lack of women who are writing any of these books. Gail Simone apparently is, got shafted on this. She's like the only female writer. Yeah, she's the only female writer. And, and uh, she was taken off of Birds of Prey, and she's doing Batgirl, like she's you said. She's doing Batgirl. And she's doing one other book, isn't she? No, like, just that. Just one book? Just one book. Just one book. Uh, that, that's been one of the big bitches I've heard about this, is the lack of female writers. I mean, considering how much they're reaching out for diversity, they're sort of ignoring, you know, the female voice. Uh, yeah, her, Fel Felicia Henderson was supposed to write the uh, Static Shock book. Yeah, she got canned. Yeah. So that would be another female writer. So that that's been a big. The Brits are getting a lot of work though. Great, <laughs> Paul Paul Cornell and Peter Milligan. Now to back this wonderful change up. Yes. To back this wonderful change up, DC. This is balls to the walls, kids. DC is doing TV ads, and this is revolutionary. Whether they're good, bad, or indifferent, it's revolutionary because comic book companies never get off their ass and promote their books on TV ever, 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 ever. Yeah. So, so what about the TV ads? They're going to be doing TV ads. This is part of Warner Brothers' plan to really push stuff. It's supposed to be them pushing a lot of DC-related stuff everywhere. The, the Green Lantern film just opened now in some places, apparently not across the street. There are a lot of Green Lantern Pepsi bottles and cans out there because they want to take advantage of the fact that they own the only characters. But you'll be yep. able to see these ads on TV, and I'm assuming in movie theaters as well, because they want... The idea behind them doing the ads is they want to bring in new readers to yeah. comics, and they figure that if they run these ads Which on is TV, a great idea. Which is a great idea. People will sort of fall into the idea going, well, let me go to the store and check this thing out. Which is a great idea. Of course, if they run them at 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, <laughs> that, yeah, when, I mean, when you're going to do commercials, you're going to run them. What's the point? They're going to run them whenever you're going to run them. So it becomes a question of what shows are you going to buy them. Run them during the news! September <laughs> is usually when the regular fall TV series starts. Yeah. So it, common sense would suggest you'd run it on. Run it during the fall. Run, run it during the fall. fall. For premieres and stuff. Now, Superman, Superman is the one getting the big overhaul in this. I've been saying for a while that Flashpoint, the reason Flashpoint happened isn't because DC had this big hard on to revamp the DC universe. It's because DC is losing Superman, essentially, big chunks of Superman to the Siegel and eventually the Schuster family in the lawsuit unless they get their act straightened out legally. Uh, so, DC can do a Superman, Warner Communications can do a Superman, but not the Superman right. that we all know and love and care about but a much better, improved version of Superman. Tell well, us about the much better, improved version of Superman coming from Grant Morrison and Rags Morales. Well, Morrison and Morales' action comics takes place five years before the rest of the other books in this new relaunch. Okay. It's, the, it's basically establishing Superman as the first superhero in the DC Universe. He's this version the, of Superman. Yeah, this version of Superman. He's, I mean, in the promo art that they've seen, he's wearing a regular pair of pants. He's got a t-shirt on, which has a logo on it. Now, in Superman Man of Tomorrow, it'll take place in the present modern day universe. Mm -hmm. Also for Jim Lee and Jeff Johns' Justice League book, that book will be taking place five years before what's going on in the other books as well. So, But it's, yeah, it's more, and there's a video out there of Morrison talking about how, he, how cool he thinks Superman is. And so, this will probably be a more mainstream version of his all-star Superman. It won't be as, it won't be as goofy. But well, I'm glad he thinks Superman is cool because he ain't doing Superman in this. He's doing some bastardized version of Superman, which, he's, which, which isn't his fault because this is what he's being given to do by DC, this is what we have the rights to use and do. Here, 
Here, make something nice. Do out of something this. with what we have here to work with. Here, you see this pile of crap? Make make us some. Mold it into it. something, Grant. Yeah, make an apple pie out of it. And he says, "Why?" <laughs> so I'm not going to dump on Grant Morrison for this. This is this is Warner Communications' big foobar from top to bottom. Uh, Apple is going to be doing something with this, the, the computer company. Not well, the deal is the fact that all these books, when they launch in September, they've got to be day and date digital, which means yeah. they've got to be available on iPads, which also means DC's going to have all... It means I'm going out of business. Well, no, not necessarily. Uh, all, th all, all the 52 books, the first three issues of these books, have yes. to be in the can by September because unlike, you know, you have a comic book deadline, you got yeah. a shipping date, yeah. comic books and blow shipping dates. Yeah. In order for these books to be available on the iPad, they've got to be in the hands of Apple to approve when they're supposed to come out. So, if you are late on a book, you will get canned. Because the books have to ship on time. Okay. So watch it. You're going to get fired if you don't get them in on time, creators. Well, Jim Lee's, are, Jim Lee's been drawing uh, Justice League for a while. So, and at some point, you just basically go, you got the first three issues in. Okay, let's bring in somebody else to do the next arc, and you'll keep coming in and do a rotation stuff. Now, conspicuously absent from all those books that we're, we've talked about up until this point is Justice Society. Where the hell is the Justice Society at? They don't exist. Really? Superman is the first superhero. Yeah. There aren't any older superheroes. Superman was the first, and he's the only superhero at that point. So there are so, no superheroes in World War II? There is no Jay, no. There's no Jay Garrick. There's no Jesse, well, who's, who's the other guy? Max Mercury. There's no early, well, well none of those Alan, characters Alan exist. Scott. There's no Alan Scott. None of those characters exist because Superman is the first and only superhero when he shows up. Superheroes will pop up after he arrives, and so the older characters don't exist. So, for those of you who remember how the JSA was shunted off into, into, uh, into uh, Ragnarok after the last crisis, go in there again. They're gone! <laughs> They're going there again. They're gone! Well, that was... Depressing as hell. So, that's They're it. Done. We're done. We're finished. We're out of here. We got They're no done. more DC news. And you know what? I really don't want to hear any more DC news after oh, all that. But you can go to the store's website and check out all the DC news that he sends me that I post up. And where's that at? Where's it at? Sarah knows all this stuff. www.myalternatevalue.com Tell your friends. So, stop off at the store's ah! website and check out all the DC news that Bo sends me. I post up till next time. This is Comic Book Man. And Bo. Saying... Where are them 52 books hit? I want to see them now. Now! I don't buy any of this for a minute. Bye! The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.